Tachijutsu is your honor embodied. Your will revealed. The wielder's mind must be pure, tranquil. When you strike, be quick as lightning, cold as ice. Hey guys, so welcome to my Ayaka video. So Ayaka just got her rerun and uh, many of you all might be pulling for her as you should because she's an absolutely broken cryo unit who can deal amazing amazing amount of damage. Okay, so in this video I will be fighting against some of the bosses and showcase my team comp and my build for my Ayaka. So for the stats, my Ayaka is at 2.3k attack. The crit stats are 54% crit rate and 250% crit damage with 81% cryo damage bonus. For the weapons, I'm using the Mist Splitter Reforged. Artifacts is 2 piece Blizzard Strayer and 2 piece Shimanawas. Here are the stats if you want to see. Constellation 0 and uh, talents are 10, 10, and 10. And for the team comp, I'll be using Ayaka, Zhongli, Bennett, and Yanfei. Reasons why I'm running this team, well, it's a pretty good team for the overworld because there might be some bigger enemies that you cannot freeze so having a shielder always helps and Bennett is for the healing and for the attack buff and Yanfei for the TTDS buff and Pyro Resonance. Just a gentle reminder though, this build and playstyle is my personal opinion. You can however build your Ayaka around a completely different team comp and yeah as long as you're having fun playing her that's all that matters. So just sit back and enjoy the video. Okay so first up we have the Pyro Regicide. Hmm, what did you say? It's the same boss, which is also Pyro, so Ayaka will be effective anyway, because she has an elemental advantage. <laughs> well, I'm not using a Hydra user as you can see, so we will be killing the Regisvine without breaking its shield. Let's get it. Hmm, okay, so there was pretty decent damage considering that the Pyregis line still had its shield on, so yeah, not too bad. Okay, let's try Ayaka on a different enemy now. Let's go ahead and try Ayaka against the Primo Giove shop. Let's go. Okay, so that was pretty decent, pretty impressive. I mean, 70k with her E, well, that was pretty good. Hmm. What did you say again? The damage was good, but not big enough? Okay. Let's try some food buffs now. I mean, since it's a showcase video, so why not? Okay, so we use this for more attack and crit rate, and this for cryo damage bonus. Let's look at the stats now. Okay, let's go. Okay, okay, it's fine. It's completely fine. We missed the crit and the rock frog decided to just dodge our attacks, but that's okay. We do not leave until we crit. So let's go again. Let's try it again.
So as you guys can see, Holoverse won't allow you to crit no matter how much crit rate you have and that's pretty wrong but then we still keep trying. So yeah, 170k and 140k with the E, pretty good damage. And since we are done with the Geovish app now, so let's go ahead and say hello to our boy child. <laughs> Okay, so that was even better than I expected. Ayaka just deleted child from his own domain. Okay, alright then. Those were some of the bosses I really wanted to showcase against, but well why not try against the floor 12 so that we can know if Ayaka is really good in the abyss. Obviously we will be running a different team depending on the enemies. Okay, so let's go with Aika, Shingchu for the Hydro application, Venti for the Swirl, and uh, Bennett for the Heals and Buffs. Okay, so here we go. The seasons come and go like thoughts of you. Like a wave returns to the sea into the blue. They change but in a cycle that I can lose Each painful but delightful to this through It's pretty insane how Aika can deal so much amount of damage with the right team comp, even in the abyss. Okay, so I just quickly want to mention something about the artifact set for Ayaka is that I personally prefer the two-piece gladiators or two-piece Shiminawas and the two-piece blizzard. The reason being the four-piece blizzard strayer sure does give you an extra 40% amount of crit rate which is massive but that does not increase your damage so having higher crit rate only increases your chances of critting more that does not increase your damage overall. On the other hand, the two-piece glad or Shiminawas or even the two-piece from the new sets Vermilion Hereafter and Echoes of an Offering, you get a guaranteed 18% attack bonus which will increase your overall damage if you can balance out your crit ratio. And the crit rate about 60% or above is decent enough. So yeah, for a DPS Ayaka, definitely go for the mixed build with the combination of two different sets which is more optimal in my opinion. But yes, if you have better stats with the Blizzard Strayer 4 piece, you can definitely stick to that. So it's your choice in the end how you want to play her and let me just remind you, this is a game where you're supposed to have fun. So chasing after bigger damage numbers shouldn't be the first priority. But yes, playing efficiently sure does help. So yeah, that's it for the video.
I hope you all enjoy playing Aika and build her well. Feel free to comment down below if you have any questions and I'll see you guys on the next video.